It is spring cleaning time, and most of us have a dirty little secret, clutter. Adam Glassman is creative director of O, the Oprah Winfrey magazine, the Oprah magazine, and he's here with tips on how to declutter and do good at the same time. Adam, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good to see you, yes. I'm excited for this segment because every day I'm putting stuff in bags. They call it nesting, organizing nice. my house. Don't necessarily know what to do with the stuff that I'm throwing away. So Adam's got some ideas. Let's start with old computer equipment. How do you get rid of that? Well, you know what? It's actually a lot easier. I mean, it's a very daunting experience when you have all this big stuff and printers and scanners. What to do with it? The nationalchristinafoundation.org. They help you pair up your stuff with nonprofit organizations in an area mm -hmm. right near you. And all of, that, all of the equipment will go to um, people to help train students mm. and at-risk uh, human beings. And once a match is made, they'll come and pick it up from you. Oh, that's the best part. That's the best part, yeah. because you don't know how to, where to bring get it. Get it to them. And I how think to get it to some them. people might be hesitant to give up, their, give up their computer because there's so much personal information. Well, you know what, what that's a really that? good point. You have to get rid of all your personal information first. Download it on a hard drive and then erase it because okay. you don't want to, you know, send that off. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Number two, batteries. How do we dispose of batteries properly? Uh, well, most of us just throw it in the garbage, yeah, which is absolutely right. wrong because it fills all of the landfills, contaminates the landfills. So instead, I, um, this is called the I Recycle Kit. $35, you get this. And you put it in your closet. Where do you get that? You order it online mm. from recyclingbatteries.com. You can put all of your batteries right in it. Just keep it in the closet. Mm. Your cell phone batteries, regular batteries, flashlight batteries, holds up to 12 pounds of batteries for a year. And then That'll you just pop you it in the mail. No, you pop it in the mail. It's free um, postage. Free postage, that's free great. Postage, and I yep. hope that everybody's catching the, the websites that yeah. we're putting up on the screen. This is a big problem. People dispose of their prescription medication. We hear of pharmaceuticals winding up in the water supply. How do we get rid of our old medicines? Really bad. The best thing to do, crush it up, put it in a plastic baggie, add a little bit of water, then put a little bit of coffee ground in it, and then you throw it out. It makes it less appealing to animals, and it's the easiest way to do it. Also, pharmacies now have a kind of take back policy. So check with your local pharmacy mm. because a lot of them will take back meds that you don't need anymore. Is that right? Yeah. When they've expired or you when just When they've don't expired, use them? you don't need them anymore. You don't want to put it down in the toilet or in the sink. A lot of pharmacies will take it back. Great tip. Let's yep. talk about sporting equipment. What are you supposed to do with all uh, this well, stuff? Well, you know, it's spring and you have a sort I'm of. I'm guessing not donating it. Well, you do want to donate it. But, you know, the, the fact is, you want to get rid of stuff in your garage too, not just your closet. We have sporting good stuff. We no longer play. The kids have grown up. They've left. Um, donate to sportsgift.org. They will take, you know, all kinds of sporting good stuff and um, coach supplies. Mm. They refurbish it and they send it to kids all over the U.S. Mm. and Africa and Indonesia. Mm. And it goes to people who don't have the opportunity to buy sporting good That's stuff. Great. Can you give yeah. us some examples? We're seeing photographs. Oh yes, it's it's great. Malawi, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Honduras. Indonesia, yes. All right, this is one that Dave wondered about and I think we all wondered about. What do you do with old paint uh, and tools for well, that Well, again, you're not supposed to really throw it out. Habitat for Humanity, which we know is a wonderful organization, has all of these stores. They're called ReStores for Habitat for Humanity. Go online, find out where the local one is. They will take everything back. They'll take drills, they'll take hammers. They sell it off at a very low amount of money, mm. and then all those funds go to building homes and communities. This is my favorite tip so far. Yeah. Oh, very okay. good one. Okay. All right, this one, video games? Video games. Okay. okay, your kids no longer like the video games. You want your husband to pay attention to you. You want to get rid of his <laughs> video games, perhaps. It doesn't matter if it's a new video game or something from the 90s. This company will take the video games, buy it back from you, you okay. donate it to them rather, and they'll give you a tax deduction form, they sell it off, and all of their funds go um, to help research medical and um, all sort of medical things. That's wonderful. Yeah. And lastly, your old cell phones, a lot of people oh. just keep them in their drawer because they have no idea what to do with them. We all have a junk drawer. Yeah. And we all have tons Five of cell, cell phones, phones in it and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Exactly. Cell phones for soldiers, an incredible organization. They will send you this. You put your cell phone in it, they refurbish it, and for every cell phone you give, they give a soldier who is abroad a calling card with an hour of free talk time. Okay, my new favorite. Yes, Adam. It's totally thank great. Thank you so much, Adam Glassman. Good to have you. Thank you. And
A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.